So welcome back to Miss Ocasio Reads. I'm Miss Ocasio and I'm so excited to read with you today. Have you ever been treated differently just by the way that you look? Well, it's what's on the inside that matters. Today we'll read a story about a Christmas tree that nobody wanted just because he didn't look like the other trees. But first, Noble, The Christmas Tree Nobody Wanted Written and illustrated by Eric Van Tyle Once upon a time there was a Christmas tree who had a wish. Noble grew up surrounded by other trees on a big beautiful farm. When he was young he always dreamed of being a Christmas tree. He dreamed of standing in someone's house, decorated and making a child very happy on Christmas morning. One December day, he realized he would get his chance. Could this be true, asked Noble? He spotted a sign ahead as he looked closer. The sign said, Christmas Tree Farm. He couldn't believe his eyes. He looked around at the other trees, smiled and said, It's true, I will be a Christmas tree. I will, I will. As the days went on, more and more trees were leaving. They all had homes to go to. Noble heard voices say, I will take this one. I will take that one. But none of them were talking about him. One day, Noble started to worry. He knew Christmas was in a few days. He stood proud and tall as people passed him by, but no one ever stopped to look at him. Suddenly, a few more people started walking towards him, but they just continued walking right past him. Noble didn't understand why people would just pass him up or not even notice him. The next day, there were only four trees left at the tree farm. It was Noble and three other trees. By the time the farm closed, it was only him standing there alone. Every tree was gone. They all had homes to go to, except Noble. He was confused. What's wrong with me? He asked the Blue Jay. Christmas Eve is tomorrow, and I have to make a child happy. The cold night drew on, and it started to snow. He was all alone, but he still had hope and waited patiently. The very next morning, a man came over with a sign that said, Damaged tree, not for sale. He stuck it in the snow next to Noble. No, this can't be. I'm not damaged. No, you made a mistake, please. I have to make a child happy on Christmas morning. Noble knew he didn't have much time left. The tree farm was closing soon for the season. He knew if he wasn't picked today, he would surely be tossed away for another purpose. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a child yelled out, Dad, Dad, over here! There's one left, come quick! The little boy ran right over to Noble. The little boy looked at Noble, then looked at the sign. He looked at Noble again and said, You're not damaged. We can fix you. We will make it work. Don't worry. My dad and I will take you home today. The dad walked right up to his son and said, We have to go, Bobby. There are no trees left. We have to find another place to get a tree. Christmas is tomorrow. We must make haste. Bobby just looked at his dad with tears in his eyes and said, But dad, this one right here, it's perfect for us. The father carefully inspected Noble and then looked at the sign that said, damaged tree. He looked down at his son and told him, we can't take this one because it's damaged. 
the dad pointed to the top of Noble and said, See, the top of the tree is broken. We won't be able to put a star on the top. Bobby looked at his father with a sad glance and said, We can fix him, Dad. Please, can we get this one? The father then looked at Noble again, which felt like an eternity to Bobby. Noble was getting really worried. This was the moment he had been waiting for. This was his last chance. He closed his eyes and said to himself, Please, sir, give me a chance. You won't regret it. After a few moments, the father said to Bobby, If you really want this tree, we better hurry up and inform the clerk that this is the tree we want. Both father and son rushed to the front desk of the store. They spoke to the clerk, letting him know that they will take Noble just the way he was. So the clerk agreed and the father paid. In the meantime, Noble was just standing, waiting and wondering if he would ever get his wish. Bobby came running back to Noble and started hugging him with excitement. You are coming home with us. Dad said he will fix you up for Christmas. You will be our best Christmas tree ever. They drove Noble home. That night, Noble was like new, standing proud and tall. Noble was all decorated in the living room, just as he had dreamed. Noble finally got his wish. He made a little boy very happy on Christmas morning. The end. To Miss Ocasio and friends, I am excited to share Noble's Christmas adventure with all of you. Merry Christmas, your friend Eric Van Tile. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's story and remember it's easy to see what's on the outside, but it's what's on the inside that matters most. Ask your grown up for help in the description below downloading a fun activity to go along with this story. See you next time. Thanks for joining me today for Miss Ocasio Reads. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share this video with your teachers and friends. Subscribe to read more stories with me. And visit Miss Ocasio Meets to get to know your favorite authors. Thanks for watching.